The following video is an excerpt from the Secrets to Drawing video course. For more information on this complete drawing course, follow the link below. Now, there are more types of lines besides contour lines. These are called cross contour lines, and cross contour lines are lines that cross over the contours of the object. In fact, it's almost a theoretical line. Adding media in a drawing in the direction of the cross contour lines can further create the illusion of form in a drawing. This is what I mean. Let's take four spheres, for example, and let's say they all have the same light source. In the first sphere, I'm going to create cross contour lines to indicate shadow on the sphere. In fact, I'm going to make these lines go directly horizontal. They're not going to follow the cross contours of the object. Instead, they're just horizontal lines. We've created the illusion of shadow, but we haven't created the illusion of form. Instead, a sphere is a circular object. So the cross contour lines that we create should have some spherical qualities about it. They should be a little bit rounded. They follow the cross contours of the object. A good way to think about this is if you picked up an object, like let's say an apple, and you started moving your finger around the apple. You'll feel areas where the apple extrudes and where the apple recedes. These lines that you're creating with your finger are called cross contour lines. You can see here in the second sphere that I've created more of the illusion of form as well as the illusion of shadow by making these cross contour lines follow the form of the sphere. Now, when we add media to a surface or a material to a surface when we're drawing, we need to consider these cross contour lines. In fact, when we're doing straight shading, we need to make sure that we think about the form of the object. This is illustrated in the spheres below. In the first sphere, I'm just doing straight horizontal lines to add the shadow. It does an adequate job of creating the illusion of shadow in a light source, but it does little to indicate the illusion of form. If, however, we follow the cross contours of the object when we add our value and shadowing, we can go further in creating the illusion of form. Remember, drawing is the creation of an illusion. We're creating the illusion of a three-dimensional object on a two-dimensional surface. So we need to use everything in our power to create that illusion. Using cross contour lines will go a long way in creating that illusion of form for you. Now in this example, I'm using graphite in a pencil. But this is true in any other medium. In fact, it works in painting as well. Cross contour lines are very important in creating the illusion that you are desiring. Yet so many people don't even know about them. But you do now. So make sure that you use cross contour lines when you're adding any type of value or any type of shadowing or media to your surface.